Hey guys, Lego Mania here, and today I'm back with my mock battle at the bridge uh, from the World W. Brickers Lug uh, Spider-Man Homecoming collaboration. Uh, and before I get started with the showcase, I just want to apologize for the lighting. I know that it's not that great, uh, and that it's actually pretty bad, uh, but I just really can't do that much more uh, with my current setup and with how large this build is. I just don't have the space to do it some more. It would be better, sadly. Uh, but anyway, uh, to get started with the mock, you can see that this is obviously the scene from Spider-Man Homecoming where uh, Peter Parker sees uh, the Vulture's men trying to make a deal with the, uh, the uh, gang member uh, underneath the bridge, and uh, he goes to investigate, and uh, after he breaks up their deal, uh, he is basically drug along on the ground uh, by their van trying to stop them. And so that's what I built here. So we've got the uh, van right here, which I'm fairly happy with how it turned out. I like the front, um, the back right here, I'm not uh, as big of a fan of, um, but it's pretty good, I think, for me, uh, especially since I'm really bad at vehicles, and I'd say that's probably one of my best. Um, and of course there's Spider-Man on the ground getting pulled along. Uh, we've obviously got these two trees here. Uh, so there's that one and then the larger one right there. Uh, really happy with how this one turned out. Uh, this one here isn't my favorite, but I still think it's fairly good. Um, and yeah, and then we've got the landscaping here uh, all around the whole thing. Uh, so we got the dark green and the green and then the brown, pretty much, uh, for the roads. Uh, really happy with how all this turned out. I liked how it looks with the slopes and the plates mixed in and the uh, irregular border. Really happy with how that all turned out. Um, and yeah, and then of course the main part of the build uh, is the massive bridge right here, uh, along with the supports and stuff underneath. Um, so I'll just kind of show you some of the details and stuff on the pillars. I tried to put uh, lots of different textures and stuff into it um, and then some of the dark tan in different areas so that you can kind of see like inside uh, the pillars and that sort of stuff and just to add some more details. So there's some more on that one there and yeah. Uh, and then you have got the two supports kind of coming up into the middle like that. Uh, and so, uh, but so this thing is actually uh, really interesting how it's built, the actual bridge. It is built, um, studs not on top, uh, so it all comes out. It's all built like this direction here, and then I flip it, flip the studs right here so that I can get this side to be the same as this. Um, and then the only way that it's actually connected to the rest of the bridge is by one stud right here and then one on the opposite side over there it just rests on these and everything else. Um, but it's actually still pretty pretty sturdy on there. I can, it moves a little bit like this, but it's not gonna fall off if you don't drop it or anything. Uh, and I'm just really happy with how this thing turned out, how it looks. Um, I think that it, I think it looks pretty nice and I think that it's a pretty good representation of the uh, bridge from the movie that I tried to base it off of. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for me talking here for this part of the video. Um, I will have links to my Instagram where there are detailed pictures of this and then a link to my Flickr uh, where you can see a higher resolution picture of the thumbnail. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will be back to talk to you again later. Bye.